Hi, welcome to this video on the Zito cassette. I think it's what the company's called. Or it could be Z Z T T O. Anyway, all right. Number one, it is unreal. Like the the picture just does not do it justice of how sick it looks in real life. It's got this sort of metallic purple, and like I just saw an AliExpress. I was like, oi, I've got to have it. So obviously bought it because you know it'd be rude not to. Um, took only two weeks to come, which for AliExpress is pretty good. Um, so as you can see here, this is the, the main part. So it's 14 to 32 cassette here. Um, it's riveted on the front, uh, which you should be able to see it where my finger is. Uh, so riveted there. Uh, and it's got screws on the back, uh, which is all nice and good. And then we've got the 12 and the 11 tooth here and a locking rip, which is purple, which is sick. So anyway, first impressions, pretty sick. Let's, let's whack it on the scale. Uh, so, put the, the main bit, the 1432, 192 grams, very light. Put the last two pieces on, 212, locking ring, 218 grams. So for an 1132 cassette, that is mad light. Uh, in comparison, like a 105 or Ultegra cassette probably weighs three to 350. I don't have one on me, uh, on my bike. Uh, I, they're on my bike, so I don't have one on me. But just hang on a minute. We've got to, we've got to show you something. So, got my nice wheel. And I obviously was like, well, you know, this is going on my disc wheel for my TTs because I need some bling because uh, i got no gas. So obviously we need a bit of bling. But anyway, sorry, my room's a mess. So anyway, put it on, just spinning around. And you're like, oh, there you go. Oh, it doesn't fit. It's not ideal, this cassette, as it doesn't actually fit on the free hub. Now you can see here, like obviously it should go all the way back, but if we look here, obviously it's like stuck halfway. Now, to begin with, because I'm such a bad mechanic, I was like, oh no, it's definitely me, I'm an idiot. Uh, but what we can see here, um, if we look, it's not actually like flush, like the lines here. Um, I'll show you a little pen, it's probably easy to see. So if we go straight down here, um, it's like straight and then obviously when it gets to this part, it's slightly off-centered to the left Which is obviously a huge issue because it means it won't go on the cassette So the the 12 and all the rest are all good now So I have um, obviously complained to Aliexpress and said it doesn't work um, But I think there's probably two solutions. So obviously I can send it back, which is quite annoying um, But I think the other solution will probably be what to do is if you these screws on the back I reckon if you take them off and then just install the cassette not as a one piece um, and then I think it will be fine. But also the other issue is you'll probably be able to see here is that these aren't aligned properly. So when they're riveted in, like, or whatever they are, like one of them's actually too far to the left, to the right. So it, it's not really, it's not really great to be honest. So, so far you've watched this video and you think, right, you bought a cassette from AliExpress. It's very light. It looks sick, but it doesn't work. So, so far, obviously the reviews not good for this boy. Uh, not happy about it. The ZTTO, Zito, whatever they're called, they're, they're, they're not getting any Christmas cards from me, that's for sure. But anyway, I think we'll, we'll keep you updated uh, with what's going to happen with this this bad boy. Um, hopefully it gets resolved. Hopefully it's a one-off issue and ZTTO uh, can sort me out. In terms of construction, it says it's uh, aluminium. It says AL7075 11 tooth on here, uh, which you can't see because it's reflected the wrong way. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I assume it's probably aluminium, uh, especially the bigger ones might be. So in terms of where, like, you know, it's like, don't use it. But the reason we're going to get it is number one, it looks sick. But also because it's really light for hill climbs um, on my tubular wheels, which we hopefully will buy when I actually have some coin because I'm going to whack YouTube and hopefully get a job in the summer. Uh, then we'll, we'll get some nice light tubulars, like 1100 gram tubular things, and we'll whack this boy on it. Um, and then, you know, obviously have super light uh, light things. And then we'll, we'll put it on the TT bike on the disc wheel as well because it just looks quite sick. And who doesn't want, want more bling? Um, I was tempted to go gold cassette, but I thought that was a bit, bit outrageous. And I also thought it would wear off. Well, hopefully... Even when the chain's on it, it should be okay. But knowing like me, like it probably will be fucked. But I think in terms of disc wheels though, um, I won't use my disc very much. Like obviously just ride it for like races. Like how many races are you gonna do? Like even if I do like 10, 10 mile TTs, that's 100 miles, 160K, like not very much. So hopefully it should all be good. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this quick review on the ZTTO cassette. Uh, at the moment, probably wouldn't buy. I'd hold fire, wait and see. 
um, if I get it sorted and if the other one is okay. And then if it is, I reckon give it a go. Uh, in terms of cost, it was £51, but this includes the 20% VAT that you now have to pay on imports, which is very annoying. Um, but it is, it is what it is. I think the whole of Europe is going to that system as well. Um, but compared to 105 cassette, I've looked today, 105 cassette on Wiggle is £47 for an 1132. So it's like four quid more, but a lot, lot lighter. So obviously, I wouldn't say they're really comparable because 105, I'm going to run all winter, wouldn't run this in winter. But as like a super special cassette, I think so. Um, maybe the only other thing to think about is, is can cassettes have more drag? If anyone knows that cassettes can add drag, let me know. But I don't think they can. So I think it should all be good. So I reckon if this gets fixed, definitely, and like I have a good experience with it, definitely buy it. But at this moment in time, don't buy it because I reckon you might get one like this that doesn't work on your cassette. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy and we'll see you in the next one.